peace and blessings today. Today I am going to educate you on sea moss. Now this sea moss is Jamaican sea moss. It's a little bit thicker, a little dense. This is the sea moss that I have been using for 20 years. But before that, this was the original sea moss staple in Jamaica for over 40 years. It's very dense. Um, and the variety of the thickness of the tentacles, which is different from many other sea mosses. It's also used to be used as a meal replacement. Now, as little children that was in the Caribbean or people who came from the Caribbean into the United States, um, this is what we use as a meal replacement when we didn't have enough food to nourish our bodies because it lasted a whole day and it filled us up. The recipe that you make with this was with sugar, with uh, condensed milk, a little cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of um, uh, anise or orange peel, and um, vanilla extract. But I do my shakes a little bit differently. So this comes into a, comes in a multitude of colors: gold, brown, dark, and it's. Some of them are similar to bladder rack. It is very powerful to anti-aging. It aids is in weight loss. It is high in all 92 minerals of 102 that you need for the body. And they have some fat long strands that you can see. I'm making this video because there's a lot of controversy online with pool grown sea moss and regular sea moss and how the sea moss is supposed to look. So today I'm going to give you the real deal. Also, this has been the sea moss that I have been selling for over 15 years. Same supplier, same supplier from the boat that you see me in the past when I was on the boat in Jamaica with the divers going to get this sea moss. So, um, also, it, this is also called Gracilaria. The Gracilaria species there are many kinds of species in the sea moss this is the gold gracilaria and they are mostly sold in jamaica trinidad saint lucia and in an antigua the short strands of the sea moss which are, are flat that i don't have today the flat leaves are called clondus crispus which is a different form but it also comes in many colors and it also grows in the fresh waters of jamaica some of the gracilaria that I had in the past, I sh it was shipped in high demand. Now, the ones that I used to sell in the past, they some of them were a little damp because of the shipping. The shipping is in high such demand that in order for me to get it at a cheaper price, I just requested to ship it fast. So, you know, because it takes a whole lot of time for it to get sun dried. Just in case if it start raining in Jamaica, they have to do the process all over again to dry it. And then it would take usually take up to 30 days for them to ship it. But because of that, um, for going through customs for a long time, I would request to get it one week shipping. Um, so with that extra time, I would get it a little damp like this. But it's still the same. Of course, I had to rip my flags while I'm making this video. Sock effect. And I'm ripping that V I I I I. So. St. Lucian Moss. Is in my trap and still she is on my chart. Purple. Sitting in the back, there's them. She's a student from my class. The green. The green. Sweet sweet memory. Jamaica. Upper misery. She's taking lessons from me. Ooh, wee. 
We're gonna fill them up with water and watch them grow overnight. Purple. Green. I love Gregory Oz. I grew up on them. Him and Dennis Brown. I remember meeting Dennis Brown. I was nine years old. All I could remember was they had a blunt the size of the size of a long knife. Woo! So, all the St. Lucia mosses are in the farm. The Jamaica one is the last one in the back. We're going to watch this grow. Usually, it'll overflow. These are one ounces each. So, you can imagine when I sell a pound, which is equivalent to 16 ounces, you're going to get more than a pound once it's wet. Don't look at the sea moss like, oh, it's too light. This is not a pound because you're weighing it while it's dry. Because when you wet it, that's when you'll see the regular size and the quantity. Don't let them cheat you. And I don't cheat in my business. That's why a lot of people stand by my product. There's no reason to cheat when you're doing things out of love and out of God. You don't have to cheat people. You just teach them the way so that they can be better, so they can know, they can grow, and they can show. Peace. As I said before, this is not pole grown sea moss. It is not. Those Customers that I've had in the past seven years would know that when they got their bag, they saw some of the seashells and the barnacles and some bladder rack was still attached on it from the sea because it wasn't fully processed, dried out, and the sunny clean. So in order for me to be able to sell it to you at a reasonable price, that is uh, what my request was for my connect guy who I've been dealing with for many years now. Um, the, also... The best harvest for this Jamaican sea moss is the month of June. Anything other than June, like winter months to get the sea moss, you will be getting weeds in the mail. So it's very important that when I make my orders for this, I have to go from June and July and order in a bulk order. If I don't and they sell out, I do not order any sea moss in the months of um, October, November, December, and January because that is... Um, the ones that look like weeds. They're not very beneficial to the body. And um, I have to buy it while it's in season. Moving on to the next. 